I am back. And remember the chicken, um, the chicken that I made the other day, and then I said I always save the leftover chicken, the carcass, freeze it or um, use it in the immediate to make a chicken stock. So that's what I'm doing. Today I'm making um, a traditional, I guess it's kind of my play on a traditional Colombian soup. Um, I'm half Puerto Rican, if anybody didn't know that. So a lot of my flavors tend to come from that space. So I'm adding a couple of um, staples that I use into this soup. So it's, kind of, it's not an exact interpretation, but it's loosely based. But the first thing we need to do is make our chicken stock. changed it honestly I so look forward to putting these pajamas on they feel amazing they're so comfortable like I don't know I, you know I'm gonna do a review on the collection but like these pajamas I like take everything off and put these on they're so good anyway so I want to be comfortable so that's what I have I just switched out Okay, so I have the chicken stock going, um, and now I'm just kind of prepping everything. I don't need everything just yet, but I'm, I definitely need some carrots. What are you doing? Oh, Cruz is putting away our gallon of apple juice. Um, some carrots. We have an onion, like the leftover onion. I had a large onion, so I only put half in the stock. So onion. There's like three types of potatoes in this soup. So there's some rusted, some yellow, uh, Yukon, and then some red potatoes. Um, this is achote oil. Achote oil, I think that's how you say it. I'm like a fake Puerto Rican. Um, and it's anato seeds that have been steeped in oil. So olive oil is usually the one that I use for it. So it's about, I think, a quarter, it was about a quarter cup of anato seed. Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so it looks like this. So it's about a quarter cup to about a cup of olive oil. Um, and then you just let it steep just until it starts to simmer and then you take it off the heat and then it gets this nice golden color. Look at that. So I have some leftover, which is nice. And it helps when I'm making a st stew or a soup. I just, everything is prepped already. Um, the other thing that I use is, um, this is my sofrito. And if you wanted to make your own, it's so easy. You could buy some, but it's so easy. Okay. So you need two green peppers, one onion, um, a, a whole bunch of cilantro, like the bunch that you get from the store, you need all of that. Uh, 12 to 14 cloves of garlic um, and then olive oil about a quarter to a half cup of olive oil and you're gonna drizzle it in to the food processor to allow all of that to get blended um, I also add in some white vinegar salt pepper and sometimes you can add in tomatoes but I tend to leave this as the base and then if I need tomato base or something I add that separately but yeah, it's super easy and it makes a whole bunch and I can freeze them. Usually I freeze them in um, ice cube trays and then I can have portioned out and you just put them into the soup or whatever you're doing with it. So those three things are gonna be kind of what's the flavor base of your soup. The sofrito, the chicken stock, and your achote oil. So those are, if you have these prepped already, it really does make the soup go by so much faster. We're going to add some corn into our soup as well. So we have carrots, corn, potatoes, um, and then I am putting in peas. My son loves peas. These are English peas. I'm adding in our, a little bit of thyme and a little, a little bit of oregano. Finally, after you're done, we're finally done with our entire soup. I'm gonna serve it on the side with um, something called like ahi. It's kind of 
like a salsa or a um, relish. It has onion, so green onion, some habanero pepper, tomato, cilantro, um, salt, pepper, um, oh, and a little bit of white vinegar as well. So you can like, and then you just put it on top of the soup with guacamole. Oh, it's so good. So it's creamy, spicy, savory. It has all those elements in it and also served with some lime as well. Like you have to do that. But that's it. So I'm gonna get cooking. Okay, so now we got the soup going. I'm um, gonna probably cook for a half hour, 45 minutes, just for everything to get nice, soft, and tender. The chicken's already cooked in there. I wrapped my hair up. It's very steamy in here, and I just um, blow dried my hair, so we're wrapping it up. <laughs> um, so now we're making the garnish, which is that ahi, which is like almost like a relish, and I'm adding all of the items into the food processor so we have scallions onion tomato habanero lime juice cilantro and some salt and we're just gonna pulse it in a food processor um, until it's ready Now it's done. 